What is a conductor? Discuss it with the person sitting next to you. If you don't know, take a couple minutes and look it up in your notes. What is an insulator? Take a couple minutes and discuss it with the person sitting next to you. If you don't know, check your notes. In this lab, you will be testing multiple objects to see whether they are a conductor or an insulator. In your bin, you will have a variety of objects to help you conduct your experiment. You will have multiple wires, a glass beaker or an Erlenmeyer flask, an SOS pad, a piece of cardboard, a metal spoon, a light bulb, a plastic fork, a toy car, toy truck, or some other toy object, a nail, a screwdriver, a battery, a binder clip. As you begin to conduct, you need to start taking everything out of your bin. The first thing you want to start with is your battery. You want to take one of the wires and hook one of the ends of the cables to the battery. The other end of the wire can be hooked to the light bulb. Coming off the other end of the light bulb can be another wire. Okay. And then you will need a third wire to hook from the battery to the object. You now have two open ends where you can place a variety of objects to test them to see if they are conductors or insulators. The first one that we are going to test is the copper wire. I'm going to hook one end of the copper wire to this side and the other end to this side we can see that the light bulb lights up so it is a conductor of electricity. The next object we will test is a binder clip. Now for the binder clip you want to hook it to the metal part. If you hook it to the metal part on each side you can see that the light bulb does indeed light up. However, if you hook it to the plastic part on each side you can see that there is still metal and it is still conducting electricity. The next object that we're going to test is a glass beaker or an Erlenmeyer flask, depending on what's in your bin. You can hook one cable to each side of the beaker, and the light bulb does not light up, so it is an insulator. It does not conduct electricity. We can keep going with this. We can test our plastic fork. Hook one end to each side. The light bulb does not light up, so it is an insulator. We can continue on and do a nail and see the light bulb lighting up so it is a conductor of electricity. The next one we're going to do is a screwdriver. So we can see the light bulb light up so you need to record on your paper whether it is a conductor or an insulator. As we keep moving along we have a toy car. I'm going to hook it to the front of the toy car or the window and the back of the toy car and we can see that it did not light up so it is an insulator. Next we can try a metal spoon. We can hook it to the front and the back. We see the light bulb light up so it is a conductor of electricity. We have a couple more to try. We can do a piece of cardboard on each side. It does not light up, so it does make it an insulator of electricity. And last but not least, we do have an SOS pad. We can hook one end to this end of the SOS pad and the other one here, and we can see the light bulb lighting up, so it is a conductor of electricity. What else in your house can you go around and test? Would it be a conductor or an insulator? See if you can think of more objects you can test that you use in your daily life. Discuss with your neighbor three more examples of insulators and conductors. Think about things around your house and around the day as you move throughout it. What makes a conductor conduct electricity but not an insulator?